All right, Pisces. What is up? Happy birthday. Let's see. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest and most high. You are welcome to this reading for the sign of Pisces. Let's see. What message do we have for Pisces? What message do they need to hear at this time? Okay. That was quick. Um, so we have the birds. Let's get three cards from the Kipper deck to clarify. You have the anchor and the man holding a rose. Letter A may be significant. We also have a number nine, number seven, 35, 28, and 12. Those, those numbers may be significant to you. So we have high honor. <clears throat> Child, family room shown itself as well. And one more, please. The Pisces thoughts. Mm. False person on the bottom of the deck. Close on the bottom of this. Okay, so uh, there could be a false person. Could be an older masculine. Doesn't have to be, but um. Let's break this down real quick. So the birds, number 12, can symbolize a message coming towards you. <clears throat> a phone call, text, or a date. That is how I communicate. I am in meetings and in interviews, and I like to negotiate. I can be your sibling, your lover, or your mate. Couples is what I indicate. And then you have high honors. So I don't know if someone from, you know, Maybe it was some type of high position, high ranking, maybe communicating, sending you a message. This could be from the military, government agencies, or um, maybe legal. Someone in high honor, though. No, then we got number 35, the anchor. <clears throat> Excuse me. That five. The anchor, with stability and security, I bring, I bring peace of mind, I push you to persevere and to help you reach your goal. Watch out for negative cards as they might shackle and pull you down a hole. So with the anchor card, I don't see anything negative here. We have the child card below that. So I feel like if you guys have been worried about your stability, your child's stability possibly, um, I feel like you guys are going to persevere. Keep reaching for your goals. Keep doing whatever it is that you need to reach your goals. This could be your children or goals with your children. Okay, there is a man here, a masculine energy, number 28. This is man number one, I believe. Yeah, um, sits upon a chair holding a red rose. He appears to be waiting for his companion. In the background, a window lights the scene, which is otherwise unordained. It speaks of waiting and patience and quiet endurance. There is a sensitivity to the scene that communicates the nature of romance. He looks to the left of the car, which is towards the anchor. So I don't know if this man's waiting on some type of stability, security, or this is someone who's been very patiently waiting, um, staying focused on, on their goals. Okay. Then you have the thoughts card below this man. So this man is definitely in his thoughts, patiently waiting, possibly thinking about a feminine energy. There could be a child in the mix here. For some of you, maybe this person has a child, you have a child, um, they have a child. What did I say? This person has a child, you have a child, or that maybe you two share a child. Okay, bottom of the deck, you have the false person and coffin and the tower and the man number two, since I'm open to it. Um, this man right here, is the second version, a strong looking man wears a red cloak, his bare chest showing a mask and the Mars symbol on a pendant. He looks to the right of the card and appears determined and passionate. The card is lit with the golden background that communicates his essential power. So for some of you guys, there could be a masculine here who's like very focused and determined. Uh, this is a passionate individual, may have Scorpio uh, in their chart as well. Um, this is someone who, um, hmm, Communicates essential power, but with the false person under this, I would be weary of this person. This could be someone who could be a little bit forceful or um, very determined at something, but um, false person. <clears throat> so 
let's see. With the birds here. What is this birds about? What is this message about, Spirit? What is this message about? Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. So there could be some options, maybe even some type of confusion. Maybe you have multiple choices. I'm going to put those back. because. <clears throat> what is this birds card here for? For Pisces, Ten of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. So someone may be a little bit stressed out or... Someone here may be like a hard worker, works a lot. This could be a business owner, very dedicated. But there's some type of stress uh, surrounding a lot of different things going on, a lot of opportunity. Give me one on the Seven of Cups, please. Or Pisces, single cards only. The Tower, Scorpio Energy, and the Wheel of Fortune. So there's some type of faded change, possibly sudden upheaval, a shift here. This does look like a change for the better. Um, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Yeah, there's a change for the better. But something here is being shaken up or dismantled. Some of you guys may be receiving a message from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. Something here, there's something that's going to happen suddenly. It may come as a shock to you. This could be some good luck, good fortune coming in. But Seven of Cups and Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Justice cards. So this could be something going on in court or legalities. That could be why High Honors down here. Libra Energy. Someone may be burdened by... This could be Karmic Justice, Legal Justice, Justice in the 5D, or just something to do with something being balanced out, being fair. Some type of fairness here is causing some type of stress or burdens. For someone. Someone's confused. What's this Queen of Pentacles doing? Whatever this Queen of Pentacles is, I feel like it's someone who's stable, grounded, two of wands, needing to make a choice. So someone here is needing to make a choice about what? Or has a decision to make, maybe between two or just a decision. And it may have to do with some type of money, generosity, equal give and take. Okay. So whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, there may be a message coming in that's like, I don't know if this causes you some type of burdens or justice is in the upright and the wheels in the upright and you're, and this is your reading. So whatever this tower is, I feel like it's a good tower. There is some type of equal give and take. Someone here needs to make a choice and is stressing them out, causing some type of confusion. Okay, show me the anchor. Why is the anchor here? Nine of Wands, King of Swords. So someone's feeling like the Wounded Warrior when it comes to some type of a decision being made. Something here is backfiring. Eight of Wands, reversed. There could be blocks in communication as well or blocks in action. Travel may be uh, restricted or being blocked at this time for someone. And it has to do with some type of decision that leaves somebody feeling defeated. It could be a decision surrounding a child, some type of stability, security. What's this man doing over here? What is up with him? Mm. The hangman. This could be you, Pisces. Getting some type of clarity. Some of you guys may be feeling stuck or stagnant, waiting on some type of clarity. Again, this man is someone who's very patient. Some of you guys are working very hard, diligent, Diligently working towards your craft, putting in a lot of work towards something. For some, for someone, someone may feel stuck in a work situation as well. Knight of Cups. 
So an emotional offer, possibly surrounding some type of a new beginning. Uh, there could be a message coming in. This man may be sending a message, or this could be you wanting to send a message, Pisces. Take whatever side of this you're on. The Knight of Cups is a messenger bringing in some type of romantic gesture or just something that's it's good news. Getting some type of clarity. What's this thoughts card? What's this thoughts card? Maybe this is this man thinking about sending a message, but for some reason they feel stuck. Something here is going to have to be released or let go. Something that was being withheld or held on to. What's this thoughts card? The Queen of Wands. So this masculine may be thinking about Aries Leo Sag or um, I don't know if this is you thinking about uh, releasing the Queen of Wands. Okay. Taking action. Doing so or going towards something confidently. Releasing something else. What's being released? The Star. Aquarius Energy. Someone's having to release something and does someone see something as what is this? Wish fulfillment. Somebody wants to work together, collaborate. Someone's thinking about working together, collaborating with someone who's very attractive, passionate, confident, charismatic. Uh, this person could be a healer or, you know, have some type of spiritual. May work in the spiritual community. This could also be someone who's highly influential. And this man may be thinking about this. But the Four of Pentacles. What is the Four of Pentacles? Someone may need to release like a work situation. Or someone that they're working together with. Because I do see like someone feeling stuck. And possibly a work situation. That's one scenario. This is Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Four of Wands. Someone may need to like let go of a home or some type of stability. What's this child card? Oh, the nine of cups in the reverse and the death card. Something here is changing Scorpio energy. Someone's either unhappy or someone's being selfish when it comes to a child. And there's going to be a change here, a major change, a transformation. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <clears throat> yeah, the Queen and Queen, King and Queen of Pentacles out here. So there could be a third party. Yeah, the Queen and King of Pentacles. Yeah, the King of Swords and Queen of Wands. I feel like this King of Swords is whoever's in high honor. This could be somebody. There's a decision. That's stopping forward movement, movement, and someone feels like the wounded warrior, like they've been through battle, but they still have a little fight in them left. And it's based out of some type of truth or a decision, honesty, integrity. Again, something here is shifting. Something here is being karmically balanced out. Someone may have been feeling like overworked, overburdened with this Queen of Pentacles. Maybe if this is like a husband and wife or a mother and father, somebody here may have been doing all the work, pulling all the work. And this King of Pentacles may have been being selfish. That's going to be changing. Show me high honor. Ace of Pentacles. So there's an offer coming in. A large offer. A golden opportunity. This could be a pay raise. The world. Success. Travel. Okay. And Six of Wands. Wow. Someone here may have some type of like... Someone may do something online and that could be... Um, someone may be receiving an opportunity to like travel or 
Someone may be getting recognized in the public eye, world noun, getting some type of an offer, an opportunity, um, a contract. And that's going to be very successful. Someone here is of high honor. Whoever this man is, they may need to release an Aquarius or a Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, or a home, someone who they've been working, collaborating with. Or they're thinking about doing this. What's up with this false person? Five of Swords, yeah, okay. So there is someone here who's being false, who's jealous, spiteful. I just seen the Five of Pentacles, wherever it went. Five of Pentacles, somewhere. Oh yeah, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords. So, so a false person. What is this false person doing? They could be gossiping, spreading lies, rumors, being a bully, sabotaging the situation. Six of Swords in the reverse. This could be someone that's trying to stop someone's forward movement, strength in the reverse, in the Four of Cups. I don't know if this is some Leo energy. This is someone who you've rejected or someone feels like there's a missed opportunity or someone's jealous because someone's moving on. They're trying to stop somebody from moving on. Someone here is lacking willpower, lacking the courage and the strength. They may feel like they missed an opportunity. Something may have also, someone's like forward movement may have also gotten sabotaged by a false person. Okay. Five of Cups. There is some type of sadness, regret, fear here. Five of Pentacles that, five, five of Pentacles that there could be financial struggles, financial problems, or, um, out of wands. Someone may come rushing in very passionately, and that was what I was clarifying, was this man, this passionate man who's very determined. And they may be rushing in, but with the Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups energy, this person may have some regrets. They may be crying over spilled milk. They may feel some type of way. They may just be feeling left out in the cold or abandoned by you, and they're coming rushing in very passionately towards you. person feels rejected and lack the courage and the strength. Really? This could be someone who sabotaged something with you out of jealousy or just a low vibrational energy, 555. They could be wanting to return because they feel like they missed an opportunity. Someone here is being selfish. Someone created their own unhappiness. Some of you guys are setting strong boundaries with this individual, whoever this is. This could be someone that you're divorced from. King and Queen of Swords and then King and Queen of Pentacles. They're both, they're all in the upright, so. Then there's this Queen of Wands over here. This could be a couple. Or... Okay, um, let's see. 
just to re go revamp over this, I feel like there was some type of confusion, Pisces. Um, there is a message coming in here and it could shock you. It could cause a tower moment. It could happen suddenly, but it's, it's faded. It was meant to happen. It's, it's moving things in a positive direction, more balanced and equal with some type of equal give and take. There could be some type of generosity coming towards you with this anchor. I feel like there is some type of a decision surrounding stability. It's here and it's there. Um, that's being made. Something may have backfired. Something may be blocked. Travel, communication, action. And someone feels like the wounded warrior. Then you have this man over here. Could be you, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. Maybe even if you're a feminine, you could have been very patient, waiting um, on something. The hangman waiting for some type of clarity. Um, feeling kind of like things were uh, stagnant. Maybe when it came to your work. Or some of you could have been waiting on an apology or a message. Or you could have been waiting to give one. Um, you could have been focused on your work, but also, you know, gaining some type of enlightenment about a situation while you waited very patiently down here. I feel like someone's thinking about like releasing something or releasing this queen of wands, taking action. Someone who may be in the public eye or someone who's highly influential. Someone may be working or married to this person or just in, in a living arrangement with this person in a home or there could be a home. Anyway, someone's thinking about like having to release something and taking action towards wish fulfillment. Or someone's thinking about having to release wish fulfillment, however way you want to cut that cookie. Um, there is something, someone here, either you're in high honor or someone else in high honor is coming towards you, offering you some type of a proposal, um, maybe to travel, do something online in the public eye on TV or or just recognize you, recognizing you, giving you some type of award or um, accolades or a scholarship or whatever this is um, for something. When it comes to this child here, I feel like someone was being stingy. I don't know if this is someone you're married to, but whatever that is, something here is changing and somebody's unhappy about that. Someone may need to defend themselves as well. And then whoever this false person and this man energy is over here, I feel like they're very determined, but whatever energy they're in is not a good energy. It's flighty, it's unreliable, it's in and out, it's financial issues, financial lack set, um, negative thoughts, some type of fear, anxiety, worry, lack of willpower, well, moving in the wrong direction, jealousy. Whatever this is, whoever that is, I don't know. I don't know person needs to stay over there. But what is this death card down here? What is changing for my Pisces? What is changing for my Pisces? The Eight of Cups reversed. Page of Swords. And Page of Pentacles. So there's a message and offer of something of good news. You may not see this um, at this time. Page of Wands. This is about children or something. Something that you walked away from. What was I clarifying? The death card? That's what's changing. You're going to get some type of information or news that comes in. Maybe somebody walked away from... Somebody is definitely watching, looking, Hermit and King of Cups. So somebody's wanting to heal a soulmate connection. Someone's been watching, gathering information, wanting to offer something of some sort. Two of swords again. You may not see this coming or this could be... Maybe somebody had a choice between two. A false person and someone who was actually genuine and patient and waiting. 
Um, All right, let's get some advice. Whatever this is, I feel like there's a message or there's something coming in that's going to like, it may shock you. It may happen very, very suddenly, but it is the wheel turning in your favor. There is some type of generosity, a new opportunity here for success, recognition. I feel like someone was being selfish. Someone's going to have to release something, too. What is Pisces' advice? What is Pisces' advice, please? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too many. Keep moving forward, okay? Um, I wouldn't give your, any emotion to this situation if that resonates with you. Pisces' advice. King of Cups. See what I'm saying? I just had the... Queen of Cups in the reverse, Knight of Cups in the reverse for your advice. So I was going to say, don't give any emotion to this. Then I get the King of Cups in reverse. So yeah, don't give any emotion to this. Don't don't fight. Don't argue. Don't compete with anybody. Okay. King of Wands, take action. Do so very confidently. Stand in your power. And Queen of Swords, speak your truth. Like that was hella court card too. Pisces advice. Knight of Pentacles, keep planning. Keep moving forward. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, pay attention to detail. Knight of Swords. Communicate clearly. Things may slow down, speed up, slow down, speed up. The World card. Focus on your success. Some of you guys may even receive a message that someone's in jail. This could be someone at a distance. That's random. Ace of Swords, oh, that's the truth. Oh, shit. Or someone's worried about going to jail. The Seven of Pentacles. This is advice. Stay focused on whatever it is that you're investing into. Ace of Pentacles, okay? Keep working towards your end goal, towards your, your goals, and they'll come to you. Keep nurturing those seeds so that they grow. Stay focused on your investments, okay? Um, too many. Go towards the new. You got Ace of Swords and Ace of Pentacles here. And Temperance. Stay balanced. Okay. Remain patient. Keep doing the healing work. So I'm going to leave this reading here. If it helped, resonated, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.